Well, our one-shot retaliation in the name of the pain of every guy who took a date to see a movie last winter or last summer is finally here. Sorta. Vampires Suck. Vampires Suck is exactly what you think it's gonna be. It's a spoof of Twilight and New Moon crunched into one movie. Now it was inevitable that a movie like this would happen because the Twilight movies, because I will not call it the Twilight Saga, it's way too epic, are the opposing force to good cinema. So for you lucky souls out there who have actually sat through the work of the makers of this movie, and I'm talking about classic cinema like Meet the Spartans and Disaster Movie, you have unfortunately been here before so you understand the pain. Now Vampires Suck had a couple of funny mo- I'd call them chuckle moments, but those rare moments in this movie happened when the joke was just one line that poked fun at the ludicrousy that is the Twilight Saga. Shit, movies. But instead, 99% of the jokes in this movie consist of someone getting hit over the head with something or running into something or getting hit by something over and over and over and over again and it's just overused. A note to the creators of these shitty spoof movies. When a joke forces the audience to use their brain in order to get the joke, it actually makes it funnier. I mean, honestly, it's not that these jokes got old after the first two times they happened, it's that they got old in 1982. Now, I feel like I'm ripping out the hearts of my subscribers that want me to like this movie because it bashes Twilight. But this movie had the comedic appeal of an Al-Qaeda hostage video, and I'm not just saying that, this movie just genuinely was not funny. I mean, it's just counterproductive, it is not insulting to a franchise to make a movie spoofing that franchise that's actually worse than the franchise you're spoofing. That's right. Worse. I mean, the Twilight movies are bullshit, but I could stand Dr. Cactus Fingers giving me a physical for 90 minutes over spending another 90 minutes sitting through this piece of shit. And when the end credits started rolling, here's how pathetic I got. I actually stayed for a couple minutes in the credits. Just out of blind faith because I was just hoping that something funny might happen now. And it was just blind faith too, because nothing I saw in the previous 90 minutes even alluded to the possibility that that might happen now. The funny thing is the actors in this movie are actually better than the actors in Twilight, I'll say that. But I have this stomach-turning feeling that vampires suck is gonna make more than Scott Pilgrim this weekend. The fucking horror. So if you're a subscriber of mine, I imagine you like to laugh. I mean, who doesn't? But if it takes a little bit of brain power to make you laugh, just skip this shit. I don't, I don't know what to say. It's a PG-13 movie that's made for six-year-olds. Best I can say it. It makes no sense, but that's it. And as the first movie receiving my new awards, Vampires Suck, Sucks, Bites, and Blows, and is awarded the Dog Shit Award. Ew. Congratulations, horribly shitty movie. You're a pioneer. It looks like we are wrapping up this summer movie season nicely. But if you like what you've seen here and you want to see more, then click right here to see more. But don't watch Vampires Suck.